Hi everybody. Okay, so I know I'm a little bit early, but only a minute or two, and I thought it would give a chance for everybody to realise I'm here, <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, no no rush as yet. I just thought I would um, get it going, give everybody a chance to join in, which is good. Um, I hope you're all doing okay. It's Thursday. Thursday. So that means tomorrow we get that Friday feeling. Um, which I'm still having. Even though... Hi Marcia, hi Jane, hi Melanie. Yeah, so like I was just saying, um, I know... <coughs> oh, sorry. I know I'm a couple of minutes early. Um, but I just wanted to... I thought I, I was ready. Well, as ready as I ever am. Um, so I just thought I would get the video the live going adam my little treasure grab your battenberg and your cuppa darling um yeah so i thought i would just set the the video going um so that you know just gives everyone a couple of minutes to um grab the tea grab a drink and battenberg if you're adam um and and see how we're going i'm clashing with lou oh no it, it's the time i had it's the, it's the time we had I never even thought of that um, when we were talking times. Um, okay, well, I will I will carry on regardless because we, you know we advertise for twelve. All right, so um, what I'm going to be doing today is we're going to be doing some stamping and colouring. Now this is possibly I would say my, one of my favourite ways to craft and colour, um, but then again, like most of us, my favorite changes daily with you know with whichever product i'm using or playing with um you know so it's, it is just one of those i am clashing a bit today yeah um i am so sorry about that um we'll plan better next time um but it is just one of those so <clears throat> so yeah so this is you spent this morning facetiming your grandson oh that's so sweet. I hope you're all doing okay. I really, really do. Um, so yeah, so I use in sort of the the more doodly style stamps, um, just to have fun and paint with. And you know, you um, you that oh, lost the power of speech. You guys that know me, lo know I love to make tags. I absolutely love to make that. We're not actually going to make a tag today. I'm going to make a, a card um, on this sort of theme. Um, but I just think it's great because you can use whatever colour and mediums you have, you know, if you have pencils or pens or your ink tents, which is what we're going to use. But you can also do this using your ink pads and watercolouring with them as well. Um, so it's great and the possibilities are endless and obviously adding in some white accents as well. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to get started. I'm going to try not to be too waffly and just actually crack on and do some actual stuff okay so the i'm working on some cardstock here and um, everybody always asks me which cardstock i'm using and generally i don't know so today um i am using um the tim holtz cardstock um it's it's brilliant stuff it's really really smooth and takes quite a lot of you know attacking of it it's kind of like the stuff in the in the diane journals as well but i also i love the stuff like the pink pig journals and whatever you know what it's like you find a good quality cardstock and it's like yay it's like when you find your favorite pair of scissors or your favorite ink pad or your favorite pen and whatever so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on i have also had a tragedy this morning i have realized that my versafine just is it's goosed the goose is cooked as they say um so i'm working with my little memento um this morning because it is my newest black black ink pad um so hopefully i'll be able to get a new verse fine soon um so i'm just going to press onto there squeaky squeaky sorry okay so i've got my b across the center of the cardstock okay and then what i like to do next is add in all the other elements that i'm going to want to stamp in black okay so i'm going to add in I'm going to get a smaller acrylic block. You know, but obviously you could do this using your stamp platform too. Absolutely. So I'm going to ink up some of this honeycomb. 
So this is a great way to use um, lots of your little accessory stamps that maybe come on bigger sets. You know, just have a go, have a play, add in some of the small stuff. I do apologise, that was that was a timer. I don't know if you heard it. Um, I've got a little bee here that I'm going to put up in this corner. Oh, he's so cute. And then I'm going to actually, there's two. Another. And this is the thing, it's just grabbing some little accessory stamps from your different sets alrighty so I'm just gonna keep on adding just some in the black alrighty so we've got these ones here I do apologize if you can hear the rest of the family chuntering in the kitchen they are making bread today so I'm gonna put that one on there and that should I go for one more should I go for one more um, I'm not really sure okay hang on hang on a second hang on a second Right, okie dokie. So we're just going to add in one more, which is going to be the border. And a little swirly whirly in here. Might need to add another one as well. Yay, that's so cute. Right, now from here, we are, hi Terry. We are going to start adding in our colour. Okay, so what I'm going to use to colour is I'm going to use some of my Inktense blocks. You could use any of your watercolours. You could use your um, Distress Ink on your mat or glass sheet as well. So, you know, there's there's lots of different ways to colour. And you, you've probably got loads of different colouring things. Most of us do. In one of the... <laughs> you say that Charmaine honestly but thank you um, so we're just going to keep on so now I'm actually going to give it a quick waft with the heat gun just to make sure it all is dry sorry it's my loud one okay so we're going to put that down and then we're going to start working in the different colours okay so this is where but I will say this I am a liability when it comes to open water in my craft room so what I actually tend to do I have Mr Bottles that shall we say are sort of past their best and they don't sort of um the the spritz of it doesn't shall we say always go with what I want so I use them to sort of so I hold and, and dunk and dunk my brush I have to say I just find it a bit easier hold and dunk okay and then we'll just add in we're just gonna add in and give the colors a chance to blend together you know just whichever colors you like we're gonna bring them all in but, you know, you could keep this, you know, within a certain colour palette if you wanted to. Um, I did do a little bit of a um, live the other day about um, some colour theory. Um, so you do need to be a little bit careful so you don't get mud. But as I'm only gently crossing them over, I don't worry about it too much. Okay, so we're just going to... And it does come together quite quickly see so you can see if you bring like a purple and a green together you do sort of get a little bit of muddiness but that's okay that's all right because I'm just trying to create this is the background and you want to keep your background quite fluid because you don't want it to take too much attention away from what you're doing because it's a background so therefore it's in the back okay so we're just going to add in a bit more because we haven't finished with our stamps yet, we are going to come back to them. We're just going to keep on adding in some water, blending the, blending over the seams, just 
just to create. I have to say, with my bees, I do tend to put quite a bit of yellow in the back, but I try to keep it away from the bee because I want to paint him yellow in a little bit. So I'm just going to keep on. Hi, Lynette! Oh, have you seen what Lynette's making later? It looks very exciting. I'm quite looking forward to that. Okay. So I think we need some more pink. It's getting a bit dark down in this corner. So we're just going to... Then maybe some more green. I'm just going to go in between. There's little bits of honeycomb there. You can always water it out onto your mat or a glass sheet or in your palette if you want to as well there's loads so i'm just going to turn it around see that's a very harsh line so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to water that out a little bit i might even use a microfiber just to lift off some of the excess to relax the color slightly then I can go back in with some more yellow. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my pink. Bring that in. Around here. And then with my green. <clears throat> so yeah, I have done this with my... um with my uh, distress as well because what you can do if you want to use your distress to do the same thing is just smush smush onto your mat and with your water use that to go on as well so you know and you can do that with your oxides or your original distress really don't like that bit down here. I'm going to have to come back to that. All right. So you can really have a play. Or you can mix it. Obviously, you don't have to stick to one or the other. You can really sort of mix it up. Add in different bits. I do think my problem the other side was I was trying to use too many colours in a small space. But like everything, it never goes the same way twice. Never does what you're expecting it to do. So we're going to just keep on adding in some water. Absolutely, you could do it with ink-tense pencils. Absolutely. I do not have any ink-tense pencils yet. Yet. I say, hi, Tracy. Um, so, yeah, you could do it with your ink-tense pencils. You could also... I'll grab my... Um, where have I put my watercolour pencils? Ah, they're over there. We'll do some watercolour pencils on the inside as well. So, yeah, I see. I really just don't feel safe putting that down. Honestly. I knock, I knock water over. I always hold it in the bottles. I do. I really do knock it over. Liability. Danger of me on tea break. Um, did you treat yourself? You lucky duck. The thing is, the problem is, I have the blocks that Dave bought me, very, very luckily, um, a couple of years ago. And then I was doing a demo. I was, doing, um, I was going to telly. And I had lost them. And I had completely planned a demo around using them. And I was in a bit of a flap about the whole thing because I didn't have any. So bless him, he got online really quickly and bought me a little palette to replace them. Um, and obviously, as you guys know, the quickest way to find anything in your crafty stash is to buy another one. That's why we all have, you know, half a dozen pokey tools and white pens and, you know, all that sort of thing. So before it had even come... I actually found my big one, um, so I, so I haven't dared ask for uh, the pencil gem, but I will, absolutely I will. Um, but the, I have to say the little palette's great for going out and about. It really is. 
So, but yeah, so you could use, you could use your, yeah, you know, you could use your paint. You know, it's not just ink tens, you could use your actual, actual proper paints. Um, watercolour pens. Has anyone else found a load of colouring stuff? You know, obviously, while we're, a, a lot of us are at home, that you didn't even know you had. I have found a massive collection of pencils that I didn't know I had. So I've got no idea how to use them. So that's something to play with at some point. Okay. So, so that's the background done. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, whoa, that's a bit much. A lot of colour on there, isn't there? Yes, there is. There actually is. But don't worry, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep building. And we're going to really make a focus on the bee on the inside. So <clears throat> what I like to do from here, we will colour in those other things as well. But I either do that with a finer brush or I'll go in with my watercolour pencils. Okay, what we're going to do first is I'm just going to give that a little bit of a... Sorry, another way with the heat tool. Just to... There we go. I'm a sprayer too. I'm a sprayer too, Lynette. In fact, I was using I was using um, my Dilutions white spray the other day and I sprayed my phone. I did. So that was nice. Right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to grab some ink. Now, obviously, these can be any ink pads. I'm just going to go for whatever's nearest my hand. But what we want now is we want some colours. But you, we want some bright colours that's going to go with what we've got. So I'm going to have a Mermaid Lagoon. A wilted violet and so that i can put paler colors over the top and them still show up i am going to stick with the oxides and i'm going to go with a dried marigold oh that's the one i was after a mustard seed okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to some of these accessory stamps we were using and the borders okay but this time we're going to ink in colour and we're going to add in some more in different colours okay because now we're going to be building up the background with some more layers hello oh I just put me wilted violet on my mustard seed lid okay so we've got that and then I'm going to grab this one here really useful little stamp i love my little stamps because you can just add them in and use them to create your backgrounds and i'm gonna go to all oh, this little flower he looks quite cool we'll grab him we'll do him in a bit of blue okay <laughs> Okay, so we're going to add on some of these little flowers. Beautiful. And then, what else do I want? What else do I want? What did I do in my circles? Oh, I put them over here, didn't I? And then we'll go in with our circles and add in some of those. Okay. And again, you can go over the top of things you've already done. You can add in a bit because we are just building up that background. Okay. Now, I'm going to add in some other colours in too. So like I said, you can use, you can paint them exactly the way we've been doing with the ink tents. You can also go in with your watercolour pencils. Which I really like. So, for example, down the wings of my bee. If I just go in with my grey pencil, down these stripes here. Okay, and then this. This is my favourite little brush. These things. It's a really small one, and I <laughs> when I when I think I've lost it, which happens a lot, to be fair, I do get very sad because it's quite a precision little brush, and you can just wiggle along 
with with it and it just fades out you can see it just fades out that grey on the wings there which is lovely but you could also if you wanted to add in just that little hint of yellow onto the wings because I like to keep his wings mostly the colour of the cardstock. It's a manila colour anyway, it's not white cardstock so it's not too stark against all the colour and then you've got just that little hint of yellow going in. Hi everybody! So we're just going to add in some more of our yellow in there which I think looks really pretty really really pretty so this is the thing when I'm I have to say this is where these things become quite difficult for me because when I'm colouring them by myself I don't really think about what I'm using I just sort of go for it so I'm going to go in with my yellow with my little brush and you can see why I love it it's just so precise and you can just work down your, your smaller section so easily it's one of those things isn't it as crafters we're you know we're, we're strange folk in many ways but you know we have a favorite pair of scissors we have a favorite brush we have you know favorite what a favorite white pen favorite back black pen favorite ink pad you know and right and this is where if you wanted to add some start to add some dimension in we can come in with a touch of orange and just blend it down again on the next section just a touch of orange across the top and then pull it down again we'll go under here here we go blend it down but if you wanted to you could also add some more has the chair been fixed it's very quiet the chair has been fixed but i will say gail it does occasionally Give that a squeak again. See? My squeaky chair it is very well known. <laughs> so we can add those in. I, c I honestly can't remember what colour I normally do his head. I'm having a complete mental block. But you can then start adding in with your little brush. But again, you could do this with pens. I'm running out of water there. You could do this with pens or your watercolour pencils. Or oh, see, I've gone a bit over the edge there. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to add in some orange into these ones here. But you can see how you have blended in the orange to his body there. Really cute. And you can do that with your... Um, watercolour pencils or even your your alcohol markers really um i haven't played with my alcohol markers for ages um <laughs> so um i mean what what's everybody's favorite thing been to play with at the current moment i keep telling myself i need to learn how to use my sewing machine but I haven't as yet. I'll get there. I'm not. I'm not very good with fabric at all. I think people that can do fabric crafts are amazing. I'm just absolutely no good at them at all. Okay. So we're going to start to fill it up now, and I'm going to go around. And I'm going to add in different bits. Do that one as well. Yep. There's my microfiber gone. So we're just having a lovely little colour. And then I'm going to do this guy. I will, I will, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to be quite as precise with this fella. He's a little bit smaller. And then these circles here you can see I wasn't very good with my stamp in there it happens so I'm just going to take a little a little bit of 
back in tents. You just sort of wash it over to fill in those gaps. And that way you've still got the detail of where it did hit. Okay. <laughs> well, this is where this one's slightly different, Sarah, Sarah John. It's just because I usually do backgrounds. You know, lots of you will have seen me do backgrounds. Sorry, I'm going to segue um, to my background packet. Where have I put it? No. So this is my fold up with my background and stuff in it. Lots of you will see me do backgrounds where I create a background, such as, and then I will come back and put something on it. But with these, because of how I layer up the colour, I do do them slightly differently. I do all the black stamping first and then, you know, go in and colour around. And the nice thing is, you know, You've got nowhere to be. We're not in a massive hurry right now, so it's okay. You can take your time, have some fun. And it's it's one of those things. I have I have this theory. Come on guys, who is familiar with me there doesn't need to be a fish theory? Doesn't need to be a fish? Okay. So if you sit in your craft room all day and you have a fantastic time but nothing comes out of it that you either want to use, you want to, even you want to keep. Okay, that is okay because there doesn't need to be a fish. My husband used to go fishing, and he would spend hours upon a fish, on a riverbank, drowning maggots, catching fish, with, shall we say, very expensive equipment. Okay. Because the fishing was the hobby. All right? Never came home with a fish. Not one fish. There was no product. Okay? Fishing was the hobby. Your crafting is exactly the same. The crafting is the hobby. And as long as you're having fun doing it, there doesn't need to be a fish. There need be no product at all, as long as you're having fun. Okay? They are, they are the ink tense blocks, Marty, or I am sorry. So... We're just gonna I'm just gonna add in a little bit of yellow up here because I just didn't like how that was looking right <clears throat> okay so we are we're, we're getting there we're getting there right I'm gonna put my lid back on my water bottle okay and then I'm gonna give it another blast with my heat tool And this is my, not my favourite bit, but yeah, a little bit. Oh, I haven't, no, I'm, I've skipped, I've skipped, I've skipped a bit. Just rain it in bed. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some of, some little templates. Okay, so I'm going to grab these ones. And so we want these and we want a black pen and a white pen. I um, mean, obviously you can use whichever colour pen you like. You can use a silver or a gold or anything, really. So, and I'm going to do a variety of things. So this one is one of my favourites because it's like adding paint spatter without making a mess. Which is great for me, to be honest, because I can make a mess anyway. Uh, so I'm going to grab my blending tool, okay? And I'm going to add in some random paint spatter on here okay that needs a couple of bigger dots on there i think all right so just add in a couple of paint spatty bits okay and then i'm going to grab my pen i've just got a sig millennium pen um, and I'm going to grab, I'm looking for a specific one. I'm hoping I've got it in here. Okay. 
So what I actually like to do is I like to use the side of my template to add in some white line, some straight line, sorry. Always in odd numbers because I think, I think it looks better. And then I'll also go in and doodle around these and then I'll start adding in my own doodles. Okay. No calamitous assistant today. I am my own calamitous assistant, darling. I have to say, I can create my own calamity. I have to say, though, I do know all the words to Calamity Jane. The entire script. Awesome musical. Right. So I'm going to add in a few more triangles. Because I just love them. I love how they look. But if, you know, so, so if you've got your one of your favourite templates that's got a small detail on, absolutely use it. They're awesome. Okay. Now it's white pen time. White pen. <laughs> Glamorous. <laughs> Glamorous. Sorry. Yes. Now Abby's Abby's doing schoolwork at the minute. Okay. So white pen. Where to begin? Where to end with me and white pen? I love white pen. It's immense. And you can see I do these quite a lot. And I just stamp them up. And colour them in. And do things with them. Because it's just fun okay so then i'm gonna add in some more this one isn't coming out well isn't that just typical i don't get my white pen to work grab another one <laughs> Well, that's just live crafting for you, innit? Here we go. This one, I have faith this one is going to work. Yes, it does. Right, okay. They're probably just on strike. From the amount of use they get. Okay. I'm going to go back to here. And add in. And then you can add in, like, your faux stitching around the edges and I just like it because I just think it highlights and I will honestly sit for so long doing these so um if you want me just to you know give up and, and, and put the card together I will totally understand okay hi Emma so just they might be camera shot i don't know i don't know so i'm just going to do a bit of a faux stitch around the edge because i think it looks pretty okay so the nice thing is with the color washing obviously we, we were doing in the background you could really set that up um to a specific colorway if you wanted you wouldn't have you didn't have to do this entire rainbow um, of colours if you didn't want to um, you could add in which you, you know if you just wanted to keep it you know blues you could blues or blues and greens blues and purples that would be pretty um, and that's what I love about it you can just keep pressing but what I always what I do nearly always see I said always and I or, and I very rarely say always and I very rarely say never that's how you get into trouble um, what I nearly always do is I don't work on top of a card blank. Abby does. She's more confident than me. Um, she, uh, I usually work on a panel like this. And then if it all goes a bit wrong, it just goes in the bin. So I usually work on a panel or my tags, like I was saying, because I absolutely love tags. White pen, Christine. I use... I have... Every time I see a white pen... I get one, truth be told. So, for example, this one <clears> that didn't work, but usually does absolutely fine, is a hybrid gel. Um, this one I'm currently using is a Uniball Signo. 
and this is my ink tents which in fairness looks empty so that's probably why it's not working um, <laughs> but you know i am i am one of those oh a white pen let's buy it and see what happens um because i absolutely love white pens you can't have too many um because they are so useful i'm actually just going to put a couple of stripes in here uh, white circle in there and then oh i'm going to highlight this one here and do the white circles in the middle of that one so you see where i'm going you can just keep going round and adding white accents into pretty much everything um, and I very often do. Alrighty. I'm not even really quite sure how long I'm supposed to be on. You know. All I know is I've got to be finished before four. Because that's when Lynette comes on. Alright. <clears throat> so with this. I'm going to go. I'm going to layer it onto. A black card. Because I think it really does just make it pop out and stand out it sort of highlights the the black um ink that we've used and i just think it looks good truth be told so i'm gonna grab some 3d foam because i'm gonna put some foam on see this was me practicing earlier with my versafine you can see it just you no know, it has totally given up the ghost i need a new one um so i'm gonna my 3d foam on keep going take as long as you want okay christine i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry it is one of those you know if i'm out at a craft fair if i'm out at a stationers or you know or even just you know cruising around online um and whatever and i see white pens i will buy one because they are fab and i use them so much i really really do um so that is gonna go i'm actually gonna pull it towards me a bit guys because i just want to i'm rubbish at sticking things on straight and i just figure if i can put my head over it a little bit i stand more of a chance okay so that onto there you have 23 white pens nikki 23 wow thing is i'm not even you know this is the nice thing isn't it in groups like this no one judges you in fact we're just a bit jealous i don't have 23 white pens i think i would like 23 white pens right anyway <laughs> it becomes an obsession now i have seen online um lots of people at the minute you know might be struggling for a bit of crafty mojo but they want to make something but they don't really know what to do okay well this is what i do when i'm struggling with the old crafty mojo you saw earlier um because i was showing you these that i'll just stamp and then get ready um and whatever and color in and you just sort of leave them there but i don't just leave them there what i will then do is i will cut them out and i will put them onto sort of like a prep board and then i can add glossy accents you can see those that one's this little bee here he's shiny um and glossy accents to that dragonfly there and what that means is you're sort of making your own embellishments and then when you've got a project that you think needs something like this with glossy accents or whatever you can finish it straight away you haven't got to wait um, for your glossy accents to dry so i could take something like a couple of these little flowers here now, if I wanted to, I could add them on. Give them a little B card over that bit because I didn't like it. Okay. And then, but you haven't got to wait for your glossy accents to dry because you already prepped your embellishments on here. Okay. But what I also do, because honestly, we all, we all suffer from it. Lack of mojo or I want to be creative and don't know where to start or whatever well hopefully all the lives that are coming up at the minute are helping because there are so many um but what i also do is i do it with sentiments too so i'm going to go to make your life a masterpiece so because of 
I'm layering it up on a black card. I really think the white on black sentiment is the way to go for that card. Okay? So I think that is absolutely fab. I'm really, really pleased with it. And I wasn't sure I was going to be. Not going to lie. Halfway through the, the main colouring at the beginning. Yeah. Was getting nervous that it was all going really, really, really wrong. So that's that's also another thing I would say. If you are doing something like this. Okay. And you are doing lots of colouring. And it's getting to a stage. And you're like, do you know what? I know, look, check me out cleaning that mat. Um, and you are halfway through it. And you're like... Do you know what? I just I can't. I don't know if this is gonna finish how I want. Finish it anyway. You've already started. You've got absolutely nothing to lose. Just keep going, because once you're already involved, you know you can just keep keep almost keep stamps, keep stamping, keep painting. Just keep going until you like it. Because if you don't like it at this very moment, you honestly have nothing to lose. You can just keep going until you like until you like it, you know. Because we all have bits that go wrong. I mean, I'm not saying I have. I'm not saying I haven't. I'm just saying there might be video evidence of me throwing a sentiment over my shoulder because I couldn't get it to stamp straight. You know, it <laughs> it does just happen. So you know, just keep going until you like it. Because I really wasn't sure about this halfway through. I really wasn't. Bev just cleaned her mat. Did you? Yes, you did see right. I cleaned my mat. I tell you what. Lockdown does strange things to you, doesn't it? I'll be cleaning my stamps next. Well, no, I mean, I'm, I seriously doubt that's going to go that far. You know, why would I keep doing that? So then I'm just going to add in a little bit here. And add in a bit more white here. Like I was saying, she pinches them on the telly. She pinches everything on the telly. She's a naughty one, Sam. Yeah, I think Sam should do the next one. The next live. In Venice, she is just trying to set up a conservatoire so she can because she hasn't got enough light in the rest of the house. Okay. And this is when, honestly, if mum's watching me do my other lives, I start getting messages going, stop, before you hate it. And it's like, nah, keep going, add in some more pen. You know, you could go around the big B if you wanted to with your... You, Sam and mum are constantly checking in on everyone. Um, yeah, we are. Because we generally, we generally want to know that you're all okay. We really do. I'm just going to go around and highlight just a little bit where it's dark. Bless you, Abs. Um, we're, we're okay. We're all right. Um, bit, bit of a rough day yesterday, but we're okay. Um... So we can just keep adding in. If you really wanted to be spangly, you could add in some glitter or some shimmer or a couple of sequins. You know, this, and this is the thing, there's so much fun. And I think this could be good. You know, the time we now have, it could be good to take your time. Don't try and rush everything don't try and do it as a production line just try and have fun with what you're doing you know because that's you know that's what we're doing we're trying to have fun with it so um if any of you guys have joined in okay recently and basically you're waiting for me to finish so you can go back to the start <laughs> um what we started was with was Started work on quite a lot, is how much I love to make tags along this sort of theme. You know, there's just there's loads of that's not even all of them. It's just not. Um, and I will say I use 
I, I again I use the same sort of cardstock for it because I just think it takes it really really well um, and I build all these up in exactly the same way I just love it I absolutely love it it's just so much fun you know the dragonfly he's awesome absolutely love it but you can see i've done the same this one i haven't packed as much and i've just mainly done a green in the background and i did say didn't i i think i just went a bit oh you could argue i went a bit too wild with the color then again if you look at me sunflower it's about the same in terms of color but there's a lot of color there and you will find if you <clears throat> with your crafting stash um yeah, in fairness, on a few of these, I have just used primarily one colour, haven't I? Oh, I did get carried away. Oh, well. Um, you know, if you, you, you probably do have loads of different colourings. So this is a great way to play with them. Because, I mean, we've used, on here, we've used ink pads, we've used ink tents, we've used watercolour pencils, we've used pens, you know. So get some of them out. Have a play. This is a great way to play with them. You know, just absolutely brilliant fun. Which, you know, is kind of why we're here. We are here to have some fun. Enjoy our crafting. So thank you so much. How did I do for time? Did I? 45 minutes. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I'm almost tempted to stay and do something else now. Um... The yeah, that is amazing. I've never, I don't, don't think I've ever done it that quick. But you, you see what I mean. So you can keep on adding things in. You can keep on adding in templates. So let me just lift that up for you. Do a little bit of a. I haven't got anything. Oh, I've got the glossy accent, so I can do a little bit of a telly twinkle. <laughs> Love a telly twinkle. You know. So what I would say is get some of your stamps out. Have a good focal image and then just build around it and play around it because that's all we've done here done a big focal image and then played around it and you can do that with you know some of your, your lovely journaling people stamps in your journal you can do it anything like that because i think i did one of these oh i did i don't know where i put that i bought this little journal from tk max that i put somewhere safe i can only assume because i've got no idea where it is um and i did this little mini page i think i might have done a video for it using the bees as well in exactly the same way um so i hope that was helpful um but more than anything i just hope it was enjoyable um so thank you so much for tuning in and joining me um i had a great time because it's my favorite thing to do um but as always you know if you want to chat uh whether it's crafting or not always get in touch and stay safe all right guys see you soon